Hi, my name is Tom and I'm responsible for the app design and development. Let's jump right into it and look at the application from the yacht owner's perspective first, with the captain's and the fleet manager's perspective following in the next few videos below. You will be able to install the application on all recent Apple and major Android phones and tablets. You as a Kickstarter will be able to download and install via iTunes and the Google Play online store as many copies of the application as you wish. For you and the entire crew, if you want them to use the application as well, no limitations. Let's assume you install the application via iTunes on your iPhone. You will log in with your username and password and the application will detect that you run the application first time. Therefore, you need to go through some simple initial setup steps. You can delegate this setup right from the start to your captain or manager for example. But even if you do so, we highly recommend that you continue watching because the application offers you some interesting aspects to tailor how the application works so that you, as the yacht owner, get the most out of it. First, we decide on the type of yacht because the maintenance procedures which the application helps you manage are obviously quite different for sailing and motor yachts. Let's in this case assume it's a motor yacht. But even if it would be a sailing yacht, all the principles we are demonstrating here would be exactly the same. Obviously, the details of the procedures would be different for a sailing yacht compared to the motor yacht. That's why we have to decide it early on. In this step, you enter some important key aspects of the yacht's configuration so that the application can take into account, for example, how many engines, gearboxes etc need to be maintained. As you will see further on, it is also helpful for you if you would enter some information how many and which cabins your yacht has. Next, as many maintenance tasks are engine hours related, you set the engine hour maintenance intervals here as per your yacht's manual. If your yacht is not new, you can leave the engine hours for the run-in period blank. Otherwise, the maintenance intervals are usually 200 hours, 250 hours, 400 hours. It depends on your yacht's configuration. You will find your applicable information in your yacht's manual. If you have the current engine hour status available, great, you can enter it here. Otherwise, you can do it later. No worries. Here you set the reference date from which onwards the application shall track all those maintenance activities which are not engine hour related but calendar driven. Setting it to today is most appropriate in most cases. If you even happen to have an NMA2000 data network aboard, these NMA2000 data like fuel tank level, water tank level, engine hours, battery status, GPS position can be automatically uploaded into the application, which is very convenient. You can read more about this NMA2000 data integration further down on this Kickstarter page. Now we need to decide which maintenance task the application should help us manage. All these lists, which you see as an example for the Yacht Systems section here, have all the required maintenance tasks included and pre-set up already, like oil check and oil change intervals times when filters need changing, when the teak deck maintenance is due, the bilges, valves and connections should be checked. These and a large number of further maintenance tasks which are vital to be worked through by the crew on a regular basis to make sure the yacht remains in a proper and safe condition at all times is already pre-set up ready for use out of the box for you. And beyond the procedures included for you already you can further add and customize almost everything very easily, but more on that a little later. As for the Yacht Systems section, the same goes for the Yacht Safety section. Task lists and schedules to check the anchor system, tender and life rafts, life vests and rings, making sure that the flares are not beyond expiry date. It's all included in pre-setup. Remember, we set the jet ski to one in the yacht's configuration. So, now you can also include the maintenance list for your jet ski here. In the yacht configuration, we also entered how many cabins your yacht has. 
Now you have the option to also include checklists and procedures your stewardess can use to keep your yacht's interior neat and tidy. From checking the doors looking properly over sink straining, the mirrors being polished, to the light bulbs checked, so that everything is properly prepared by the time you arrive for your cruise. If you would like your stewardess to be guided by this checklist, here is the tool. If it doesn't apply or if you think it's too much, leave it out, but you have the option. We are coming to the logs which you can use if you find them useful. For example, if NMA2000 is enabled, the trip log automatically tracks and reports to you onto your mobile where the yacht is going. Even if you are in Europe or in your office in Shanghai or Singapore, wherever. It's in your system and you'll get it right onto your mobile. Also, if NMA2000 is enabled, you'll have a complete log of fuel tank status, fuel usage and refills also on your mobile. Now I quickly want to show you how easy it is to add even your own custom procedures and checklists. This allows you to add beyond what's in the system already further checklists and procedures customized to your personal requirements. Just as an example, let's assume you might want to charter out your yacht on an occasional basis and you want to add a checklist for your crew to follow so that your yacht is well prepared by the time your guests arrive for the cruise. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to add such a custom cruise preparation checklist. And it could be any other checklist or procedure for that matter, it is just an example. First, on your computer you would open Excel or a similar spreadsheet. It is just easier to do this on a proper computer with a proper keyboard and screen compared to a small mobile phone or even a tablet with a touch screen. You would add in the spreadsheet under Cruises and Logs the name of your new pre-charter checklist. And then you would add all the tasks your crew should work through when preparing the yacht for the cruise. Like preparing the cruise schedule, preparing the welcome drinks, arranging ice towels for the guests, all the way to maybe placing a fresh fruit platter in the guest cabins. You add your own task as you see them fit for your own purpose. Then we add when each of these tasks is due to be performed daily, weekly, at certain engine hours, on a specific date. In this case it is ad hoc. Ad hoc basically means that as the departure date of the cruise is not known yet, you will at a later stage on your mobile press a button and by pressing this button you will activate this process right and when needed. That's all, you are set. Save this spreadsheet as a CSV file. Head over to the website, log in, upload the file, and voila! Next time when you log in to your application, you will find your own custom cruise preparation checklist ready to be used for automated processing in the application. Congratulations, the setup is completed. Just by pressing the sync button, all your setup information will be transferred to your personal cloud server account. The yacht configuration, all checklists and maintenance procedures you selected, including your custom cruise preparation checklist, will from now on be fully automatically checked by the server for any yacht maintenance task which will become due in the future. And if the server detects upcoming maintenance tasks, you will automatically receive advanced notification emails listing all tasks becoming due so that you can properly prepare. All this information is backed up on the server and available for you for download for your own personal archiving at any point in time. And most importantly, all this information is available to you and your crew on your mobile dashboards. Let's have a quick look how that would look on the captain's side. The captain obviously also logs in and he has a very simple, easy to use dashboard listing all tasks being due now, next week, coming up due next month. And for all those tasks which have been started to become addressed, but are not completed yet, work in progress. Each new task appears on the dashboard as it becomes due. The dashboard is structured into different chapters for ease of use and good overview. The crew uses a few simple buttons, color-coded like a traffic light, assigning each task the status 
done, work in progress, or raising an issue. When raising an issue, you can add a note and attach photos to the related maintenance item, which can be shared between crew members and the owner for discussion. As we are mentioning discussion, on Apple devices, maybe you want to arrange for a FaceTime call to discuss in a video call all maintenance matters which require resolving. The crew will work through the task list, ticking each task off the list as the job is completed. And by doing so, seeing the task list being cleared step by step until the next new tasks come up, get cleared again, come up and cleared again. That's the fully automatically managed revolving circle of this application. Nobody needs to keep track of anything in their minds. The system guides everyone fully automatically. Everything is synchronized with your secure cloud server account for backup, export and reporting. On the part of the crew, nothing else is required than simply pressing a few color-coded buttons, maybe adding a note and attaching a photo. Everyone who can use a mobile phone to make a phone call can use this application. It's that simple. If you would, however, prefer for the application to be in the crew's native language, the entire application is already designed for multilingual implementation. We would be gladly cooperating with you. We would include this at no extra cost. Just please get in touch with us so that we see what would be required. And you, as the owner on your end, have exactly the same overview. You on your dashboard also see which tasks are due now, coming up next week, next month, which are work in progress. You see the issues raised, including any images attached, and you see all the tasks coming up. And you see the task list becoming cleared as the crew is working along. You can also notify the crew of a planned cruise, ad hoc as we called it. Just enter the cruise details, send it off, and the notification and the related task will appear on the cruise mobile application dashboard. Correspondingly, on your dashboard, you can see the task list being cleared by the crew as the cruise is being prepared to reassure you that everything is in proper order once you and the guests will arrive on the cruise. As we are coming to the end of the video, let's have a very brief recap. You can download as many applications as you want onto your tablet and mobiles. You only configure a few basics about your yacht, engine numbers, gearbox numbers, you configure the basics of the schedule, engine hours, the start date, then you tick a few boxes to select all the maintenance schedules you want to include. Maybe you add even a custom list and that's it, you are done. We hope that you will find this application useful to run the management of your yacht more smoothly, more cost efficiently and last but not least to help you have even more pleasure with your yacht. If you are interested in further videos, feel free to have a look at the videos below, looking at the application from the captain's and the fleet manager's perspective. Or maybe you've seen enough and are ready to kickstart?